Welcome back to Minecraft. EP 170. 170, man. 170. I'm I'm as shocked as you are. <laughs> not really. It's not shock. It's more a pride. Which I can't get too proud or else I'll sound like a giant jerk. That's where all my notch rants come from is pride. Because I think I can do better when I, I don't know anything about Java code. I can write computer code. I'm not an idiot. But when it comes to Java, I just don't know how to put it together. So, it's a pride thing, and I'm working on it. But, uh, you know, until then, this is me. Alright, so here we are in the, uh, the area where the skeleton found me. And I'm about to dig out the next part of this cave. And, yeah. So the last episode, we we actually did something smart. We took a new angle on Mind Force. And what I did was I, I decided after 10 minutes, I would pit stop and deposit all of the items, uh, valuable items, that I was carrying and that I didn't need to continue the mine. Uh, I would deposit them back at the base because it wasn't too far to get to. And this cave is not so overly complicated just yet. Oh, is that a lava lake or... Nope, that's the bottom. So here we are, because I see the redstone. Now, here's my question. Where's where's the lapis lazuli go? <laughs> where's that blue shimmering stone? It took us. It's going to take us how many episodes to get to it? Ten? Ten episodes since the start of this? Oh my. Yeah, don't die now, dude. You're doing you're doing great. That's a deep pool though. I cannot lay any anything. Nice iron in these caves though. It's really uh really been worked out. Okay, so this does expand. Whoops. That could be a good thing. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll bite. Oh, yeah. There we go. I find more. Okay. A little bit more. Looks like I found another a cave extension with uh, lava in it. So this goes away because we don't need it. The light from there is, is plenty. Plus, I want to see if there's any lazulio down there. Slowly. The answer was no. There wasn't. Sometimes they hide diamond behind these, these coal veins, though. Eh, not today. Oh, well. Alright, continuing on. See, this is where you find the diamond. In these these bottom of the map corridors. And there are some right now. <laughs> oh. It's a four diamond vein. No, wait, wait. Five, six. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh no! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I survived! That's pretty incredible. That creeper was guarding that, that diamond. You know that, right? He was definitely, definitely uh, in charge of that, and he blew it. No pun intended. Derp. Alright. Well, I just got a huge boost of confidence because I survived a creeper attack and I found six diamond in one shot. However, it's uh, it's time to make another deposit. <laughs> I'm not even going to explore anymore. We're going back to the top because I am not losing this stuff. Not this time. I want to make this a little cleaner, though that it's easier to get around. I actually think that uh, he, he got in the way of the cobblestone that was in front of me, like when I moved behind it. And that, oh, there's redstone I missed. Yeah, I put the torch there, but didn't see the redstone. Good going, dummy. Honestly. 
But yeah, I think the, the cobblestone little area that I was in, that the diamond was in, actually cushioned that, that explosion. And that's, that's my story, and I'm going to stick with it. And any minute now, this diamond pick is going to die. So I'm going to have to make another one. But yeah, this, this cave was pretty, pretty good. Whoops. I failed. Got to go off the ledge. There we go. Yeah, we're going to make another deposit. Mine Force is trying something new. Trying a more, uh, more conservative style of play. I still crawl around the lava layer, but, you know, I'm more courteous as to, uh, where I am and where my items are. Because I think it's fair to my items if I, you know, don't abuse them so... Whoops. Once again, I went the wrong way. And I even planned it out. It's probably night. Yeah, it's night time. Uh, of course. Well, that means we need to torch this area. Obviously, I'm not going to do it in the daytime. Because I can see. But you do have to plan for it at night. And there's a creeper. There's two of them. Yeah, see, they get mad now. Oh, boy. There's another one. They're everywhere. It's the attack of the creeper army. Oh, so much gunpowder, though. But I'm winning. He's out of range. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking it to the fridge today, man. There is a lot of creepers, though. Save arrows, shall we? How about you over here? You want some of this? Yeah. I'm feeling good today. Wow. Well, you're witnessing a new... A new. Uh, it looks like Mind Force is uh, better off making deposits. Because not only am I, am I seem to be uh, doing better on my feet, uh, but because I'm headed back toward the spawn, it's not such a big deal if I get killed. I kind of like this, this, uh, idea. And there's a pig. What's he gonna give up? Two pork. Oh, yeah. At least one of those is getting burned right now. Because I'm technically safe in here. They can't get in that way. They can get in this way, but it's convoluted. My iron is done. All of it. Or should be. Which means I can make armor. To even better protect myself against a point-blank creeper, uh, creeper explosion. Wow, 15 gunpowder off of that. Add it to the pile of eight. <laughs> nice. That's a nice pile. It's four TNT. So the first or next move is to combine what we don't need. Obviously, I need three diamond for the next pick because that one's just about to. Eh. Yes, yes, I do want to make a diamond pick. Ah, uh, flint string. Okay, we can make more arrows. Because I'm kind of out of those, too. I see myself digging and, and chicken hunting in the near future. Eight arrows. Well, tw potential for 12 isn't going to cut it. Let's uh, convert more bone meal. Add that to the ever-mounting pile of bone meal. Oh, here's some torches I never grabbed. Oh, here's some arrows I never grabbed. Sweet. And some feathers I never grabbed. Well, I'm glad I stored this stuff. But I do have too much gravel and cobblestone on me. Way, way too much. Another nice iron pile. Might as well put that in here and melt it down. That was dumb. Now this iron, uh, minus what I'm going to make for my armor, goes in the chest. Yeah, you're witnessing a, a change of play style here. 
I still feel like I'm rough and tough. I actually feel better because I am, you know, I'm not dying quite so much or losing so many things at once. And I, I, I'm gonna make another shovel. And this is not for now. This is for later. <coughs> when I need wood. Okay. So where's where's the Ah, yes, the pick, of course. How could I forget with the diamond staring me in the face? I should still be good on the wood. But... We'll make eight more. Re-up on the stick. See, this is the mind force way. Making sure you got enough supplies for the journey. There. There. See, that inventory is pretty. Now, I don't have to worry so much about uh, gravel mining, but I am going to, you know, do some of it anyway. After I kill this chicken, which gave me nothing. Hey, nice. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot the pork. I noticed, too, that since I've been not dying so much, I actually have a better memory. Thank you, chicken. Yeah, here it is right here. Excellent. So now I'm just about fully health. Oh, duh! I don't even need that, because I've got a, a crap ton of mushrooms. Sorry about that, troll. Where's my bulls at? There we go. Yeah, I forgot all about these. Sorry to those of you who've been commenting like crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's better. Now I really have confidence in my ability there we go now I feel like I can do anything I'm not going to do anything I'm going to do one thing might as well make this arrow set now while we're while we're here no reason to keep him like that oh and I said I was gonna deposit this too see I, I realize these things as I go. There. There. That's set now. And anything else while we're here? No? Good. Because it's time to go destroy. That wood goes there. Okay. Now we're good. Uh, the shovel? Yes. I need that. Now we're okay. Let's get back down in that cave and, and... I'm still looking for some Italian leather, man. I got the diamond, which is great. The cave is still not fully explored, but... That's okay. Hey, more pork, anyone? Why not? This will be my emergency stash. Ah, forget you guys. Okay. So, the, the goal here, uh, since I didn't really get all that, I mean, I've got some cobblestone, but not, not as much as when I, I strip mine for it, but I'm, uh, I am going to, as soon as I find some blue stone, because I'd like to decorate the castle a little bit, too, with different colored blocks and such, once I find the Italian wool, I will, uh, come back out of here and do the rest of the cave later. And I'll continue the, the building of the castle, as well as set up some turrets. I'll, I'll get a whole bunch of, of uh, what do you call, arrows, and I'll set up some, some turrets around the area. Oh, that's right, I went the wrong way. Ah, boy. Looks like it's time to eat. I am hiccuping. Yeah, here we go. And then we'll see how that works against the mobs. Because I'm going to start sending some flaming arrows their way. Uh, yeah, it was the other way. You big dummy. There's my redstone indicator. Which is funny because it's not even activated. It's still an ore. And it's my indicator. 
And they come up here, and we got the diamond, and it was great. And now we're here, where the creeper nearly killed me. But I was... I survived somehow. Oh, boy. Alright, this one I'm going to use the sword on. No reason to fire arrows at a zombie. Unless that's all you have. And I get more feathers. There's more diamond! Excellent! A lot more ores of every kind. Wow. But, of course, I have to be careful. And now everything's above my head, including the mobs that are up here. So yeah, this is a good opportunity to use the arrows. them feathers because they can get the drop on me very easily from this point so let's see how many diamond are here I'm not gonna dig it out yet could just be one no it's two Ooh, looks like there's more zombies over here they sound mad now we're getting cobblestone Happy? Yeah, they're definitely this way. Oh, wouldn't you look at that? More redstone. And there it goes. Oh, wait, I have another one. Teehee. Hmm. Oh, it looks like they're above my head. Or I should say, it sounds like. Okay. So there's only two diamond, but that's okay. Diamond is welcome in any quantity. I got this down here too. This is interesting. But that's a very dangerous spot. What I need to do, get out my cobblestone I've been collecting. Start co getting more desired. And light up, I gotta light up some of this, this area here. Ooh, nice. Yeah, there's just ore central. Holy crap, this cave is enormous. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> what? This episode might run a little long if I decide to really bang this, this cave out or try to. This is tremendous. It's got so many directions. And in the daytime, you can tell, with the fog up to short, you can tell uh, if it's really big, because you can see the fog distance. If you can see the fog down a, a tunnel uh, passage... Whoa! Oh, I jumped on that one. Did anyone else jump when they saw that? <laughs> Yikes. He just came out of nowhere. You probably heard the sound, but I didn't. I didn't hear anything. Any mob over here? Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. I saw you. I'll be back. Well, there's creeper and everything. See, this is the perfect opportunity for TNT, man. Because these guys are stuck down here, so I can just beat them up. Whoa. Where's that coming from? That's a trap. That's a mob trap right there. They want me to go down there and get those items. So I'm going to. <laughs> Unreal. Well, oh, I see where he's shooting from. He can't reach me because it's only one block, but he can see me. How did he hurt himself? Oh, I see. He's hurting himself by... <laughs> He's shooting the arrow so close, it's actually bouncing off the wall and hitting him. Ah! That was stupid. That skeleton's getting smart. He's like, if I shoot this into the rock, when he breaks the rock, it will kill him. Oh, boy. Lighting bug. Not good. Not good, especially when you hear a spider like that. Ah! Whoa, where do you... What do you think you're doing? 
It's an epic battle. Eat the soup. Away you go. Yeah. Don't mess with Mind Force. I've been through too much bull crap. Now I'm just straight caving. This isn't even a, a dig anymore. This is me versus the mobs. I would like to know where that spider's coming from, though. I uh, hears him, but I don't seize him. He could also be on the surface if it's the night time. Maybe. But I'm not going to take my chances. Alright, who designed this cave? This is getting obnoxious. I love every minute, but man. Alright, this is a great way in. I just dig it through a little bit. I can get a little closer to the action. Yeah, because I, cause I, <laughs> I already got a re-up on torches. You might be time for another deposit soon. Let's just max out our health again. Because our armor's still pretty good. I'm not too worried about that. Bones. Alright. Like a mini finale here. Alright, we're gonna catwalk across to here. I think that's one of my torches, isn't it? Yes. So I'm going in a circle now, which is a good thing. There's too many ways and I'll never find my way back. Jeepers. This place is like Swiss cheese. I think maybe that was the idea. Let's get the urn. The urn! Good. I tell you something else too with these caves. They're everywhere. You know, it's not like every once in a while you find an epic cave. It's just you're so small in such a vast world that sometimes it doesn't seem like it's possible to uh to find them. But believe me, it is oh, nuts. I require more torch to get up on a safe spot, and there's still iron sitting in the walls. Yeah. Oh yeah, doing the headbang. Oh yeah, rocking out to the cave. I'll stop now. No! <laughs> Why do I always do that? Rage! <laughs> Never mind. Where'd you go? There you go. That might actually be... You think that's a spider dungeon? Because it's, uh, I hear them, but they don't, they don't go anywhere. Like, it seems like they're not on the path. Like, they're stuck inside an area that I have yet to get to. So if I follow the sound, I might, I might just find a, a spider dungeon. And wouldn't that be hilarious? Let's go this way. My goodness. So many directions. Whoa! Ooh, we fired at the same time. Did you hear the sound bug out? <laughs> That's cool. I'm just trying to get this iron, man. <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay. Yeah, see, this is the kind of thing you gotta look out for. With these little, little, you know, stuff in here. This is a great safe area, though. Because nothing can get up to me. At least I don't think they can. Oh, no, they could. But where the heck am I? That's the big question right now. Where in Notch's brown earth did I end up? And why is it so awesome? That's what we want to know. The awesomeness. Where did it come from? What does it mean? Oh, hey. Well, at least I know where all this goes now. 
Uh, excellent. Not only am I finding uber amounts of iron, but I am starting to understand how this cave works. You know what's going to happen, though. I'm going to have to dig an emergency exit. Because I have no idea where I am. I mean, I probably could find my way back. But once you start laying enough torches and light everything up, it, it's a different place. Yeah. It's, it's behind me, clearly, but... You know, to what extent. And it doesn't help that I'm removing all the ores, either. At least I remember how to... Oh, boy. At least I remember how to get back, you know, to, to where the start is. If I can't remember... But that might be it right there. You never know. I'm starting to think that the cave doesn't end. Where's the zombie? Where's he coming from? Where is he? Ooh. Well, we're back down to the bottom, essentially. Okay, this is the kind of cave that you get killed in. Yep. What happened? That <laughs> derp! <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. Oh, wow, he actually figured out his way back up. Now, these guys are, are trapping me, because you know something's going to come from this direction. I'm getting too wise for that. And with all the stuff above my head, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to fall for that. I am going to go over here though. Still no Italian wool, man. I don't understand. I ain't st whoa, I ain't stopping this episode until I find some. I don't care if it goes an hour. <laughs> Whoa, more diamond. I didn't sound too enthusiastic on that one, but it's not what I'm looking for now. Man, is that convenient. That one was in a little pocket of its own measure. Alright, I'll eat more soup. And then... Gotta get that lapis lazulio. It's just not anywhere. You know, they won't, we won't... I actually think it's more rare than, than diamond, honestly. More rare and less useful. <laughs> Go notch. I did want to get this iron, though. While we're here... And I hear these idiot zombies, so I'm wondering what that's all about. You should never know. I'm have to make another cut in the filming, too. Since we're running a little long here. Mini finale, yay! Just one. That's all I want is one piece of Italian Italian wool. That's all. Then I don't care. You give me that, and I'll, I'll be satisfied. How's my inventory? Oh, I still got room. Because it was organized, and I, I survived the onslaughts. Didn't think I had it in me, did you? Didn't think I could, uh, you know, do so well. But, we're getting there. <gasps> there we go. Okay. So, let me get rid of these guys that were down here. Because then i got to figure out how to get out of this place. I mean, there is death everywhere down here. There's some gold. I don't think that creeper can go anywhere either. It's sitting down there. You're not used to this, uh, sort of being able to, uh, figure out his bearings. Oh, of course. Here we are right here. I know exactly where I am. This is where I said the mobs were trying to bait me. I could have just gone down here and found it. But I went the long way. Now, I know you're thinking, dude, you found the lapis, just get it and go. Don't keep prolonging. You do this every time, and every time, you end up getting killed, and you never find your stuff again. Well, you're right, but this time is different, and I'll tell you why. Because this time, I have, uh, I have it all together, and I'm not going to screw up. 
Because normally I say, you know, I'll screw up, right? No. No, I'm not. Because I've had it. I've, I'm, I'm sick of the mobs and what they do, and I'm not going to take it anymore. So I don't. But I also don't want to do anything dumb. And that includes you know, what I've been doing, but not what I'm going to do. See, there's a difference. The past is one thing. If I put the past behind me, and I look forward to the future, even if the past continually sucks, I will learn, learn from my mistakes, and I'll do better the next time. And if I don't learn then, then I'll do better the next time. Oh, more, more diamond, of course. Well, you know we gotta get that. I don't see anybody behind me. See, now I'm doing my spot checks. I'm being a good miner. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm scoping out the area before I decide to go roaming around the lava like this. That's how you, you know, that's how you get the girls. <laughs> okay. And this, this pool isn't that deep. So let's grab the Diamondes. Of which there was one, I guess. Just one. Okay. We'll do that. But I can't help but thinking that there's more lapis down here. Yes, I remember where that one was, the Italian leather. It's a lot of gravel. Or does it burn up in the lava? I don't remember. Oh, hey, iron. See how much better it runs down here? It's because there's not all that crap going on. I should really check the ceilings, too. Oh, smart. That one. There you go. Alright, let me grab this quick. That was convenient. Good. Check our area, make sure nothing's descending upon us. Alright. What's that iron now? Another 47. Well, you know, we're, uh, we're getting set up to build that mine track, aren't we? Because you know how much iron you need for that stuff. It looks like we're going to get it. What is he doing? Oh, you frustrate me, Sorbius. I know. But I'm doing well. I think I've, I, I've made a change for the better. See, look at this. If I left, I would have lost all this stuff, man. All I really do is get, get the iron, but still. It's important to have this stuff now so that I, I you know, don't screw up in the future. Okay, I'll get the gold. Almost broke the rules. Here's an underground lake. Just like uh, in Indiv, right? Hmm. Yeah, these are Indiv lakes. I know these anywhere. But this is yet another stopping point. Plus, I'm out of torches. So the idea now is to make our way back up to the lapis rock, the Italian wool, whatever you may call it, and then we leave. Because I found the exit. The lapis is right by it. I know I'm not out of the woods yet. I still got to watch out for these idiots. But at least, at least I know there he is. Shot him right through the rock. Did you see that? Get the feather. That's probably a mob trap, but oh well. No, it wasn't. Sweet. Good. Oh, and this... Look where I am. Can you believe that? So we're going to get this diamond now. Since I finally found that zombie. And then... I'm going to go get the lapis. Oh, you know what? I didn't light this area up. I should really do that. There's nothing there, really. It's just uh, some some uh, nether stone and... Uh, or uh, not nether stone. What am I saying? Some red stone. And yeah. Okay. Going to get the lapis right now. No more goofing around. 
it's right here very very close to the exit or or the the way to the exit inspect our area looks like it's mob free and I got one actually I got oh eight okay so one rock gives you a several see that's a good thing that's progress so the rest of this cave is getting done some other time because I do not want to die right now of all times death is definitely not an option at this point so let's grab the last of this iron and then we'll go over here and make our escape at least I know how to get here now it's not very hard at all is it? no it's not <laughs> and that ends this episode too as soon as I get back to the chest and you know that I'm safe and sound I will stop and go to the next one so thank you for watching this extremely epic uh, I went the wrong way uh, episode of the, the series I had a lot of fun doing this there's ten more to go this was just a mini finale it's like I said why not go 36 7 minutes who cares it's all about inter entertaining you guys and I, I you know, just having fun. And you're witnessing some pretty cool cave. Actually, some really cool cave. Some of the coolest I've seen in a while. And we got our Italian wool, so... That I will do in the next episode. That I will leave you hanging on, even though it's such a stupid little thing. I will not make the wool this episode. And, of course, I got daytime. Because I'm good like that. Couldn't die it if I did, because this guy is gray. So as we make our way back, you know what I should do is build a, uh, I have the gold for it, I think. I should build a timer, so I know what the heck time it is. The time of day, that is. And we made it. We did not die, and boy did I fight a lot of mobs. A lot of mobs. So, yeah, here we are. We're safe and sound. I'll see you guys in episode 171. Oh, yeah.